Hey guys, just a quick one here. By request, I'm doing a little tutorial on Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out. So I'm playing it pretty similar to the Clapton way, but with a few extra little things thrown in. Uh, we're in C, starting on the one, to E7, to A7, to D minor, A7, but played a slightly different way this time with the open G string. Pop that little finger back on top, D minor, where I'm bringing in the top E string open. And then walking along the D string from D to F. Now we've got our F chord, then we do a typical thing, we go F sharp diminished seventh, which really looks like the top four strings of a B7, except we're not playing this B note. Then we're back to the one, the C walk down to the root of an A7. That's a really common thing, the one going down to the six, one, walk, down to the six. And then we go to D7, but we do something that I love to do. This is something I heard players like Lead Belly and Scrapper Blackwell doing a lot. Walk up to the D7, but to the uh, major third in the bass, F sharp, and then form a D7 kind of shape here. I'm not bothering with anything on the thin string, I'm just killing that. Just a quick side note, easy way to think about this, take a normal D7, this F sharp on the top E string, simply move it down to the bottom E string. Nice little trick, just remember anything that's on the top E can be moved to the bottom E and vice versa. A little bit of melody. And then G7, beautiful thing there, we're getting a bit of counterpoint harmony. And again, just a bit of melody, just because I'm a fidget more than anything. And then this really classic kind of country blues Lonnie Johnson style thing, which is fourth fret of the B string but make sure you get that clash with the open E on top. Maybe bend the note very slightly. Down to the C, A, C. Always a great sounding lick on that C chord. Okay, so I'd recommend probably just getting the changes under the fingers first and strumming through them without any finger picking. When you do bring the finger picking in, try and palm mute bass notes and try and make everything sound kind of percussive and snappy. Be quite aggressive with your plucking. Gives you that typical pre-war blues vibe. Um, if you need the sheet for this, there's a link in the description um, or you can get it on the Patreon. Uh, that has a full breakdown of the picking pattern. I'm not going to go into all those details here. It would take a while and it's pretty tedious. But as long as you've got the chord shapes and you know some of the basic moves, you'll be okay. Speaking of basic moves, there's this cool little thing on the first chord change. Just a little trill on the E7. So first of all, playing E7 simply like this. Two on the D, one on the G, three on the B, but I don't add that straight away actually. First thing to do is just to start with the open G string 
and just practice doing this trill, this hammer on to the first fret and back off to the open. Make sure you're keeping the bass alive. Okay, so that's it. Nobody knows you when you're down and out. Really fun to play. You go round and round on that for, for the duration of the song. You can take a solo over those changes in the middle somewhere. That's a fun thing to try. Um, I might do a lesson on that actually because you can't really just sit within a scale necessarily. You've got to follow the changes a little bit using triads and all that stuff. Uh, thanks for your support. If you're a Patreon, uh, I really do appreciate it. Or if you just buy a couple of transcriptions now and then, that's brilliant as well. Thank you so much. Do keep requesting things. You know, I'll, I'll do these quick fire lessons and throw these things out there between the main lessons on the channel. Um, some of these will be Patreon exclusives, these quick lessons as well. All right, cheers, guys. See you soon.